Well, we've decided to make a few looking back videos of where we've been and what we've been doing over the last, what, three, well, four years? Yes. Yeah, three or four years. Where we've been, sunnier places. Yes. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to get, well, we're going to have to go back through over a thousand videos because that's yeah. how many videos we've actually made. Unbelievable, isn't I know. it? A thousand. A th over a thousand. It's about 1,100. Um, and if you've watched all of those, well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed them. So, um, yeah, we're just going to pick out some bits that we find maybe interesting or funny. Yeah. Places we've been. Give you some ideas of, you know, places to visit. Hmm. That's what we hope. And yeah. Yeah. And places that we might go back to in the coming years. Yes. Well, we hope. Yeah, we do. Oh, yes. Yes, anyway, we do. Anyway, here's that review video, the first of a few. Thank you for watching. Yeah. We made that decision to buy the motorhome yeah. for a couple of reasons. We wanted yeah. to get away mm. and we wanted to go to, more to Europe. We're yes, getting we much did. more adventurous. Yeah, oh, we were, we, yes, we, we, we were. We were, you we, know. And we, didn't, we knew that if we tried to tour Europe in a caravan, it's more difficult because you can't... It's you difficult got a, to stand the airs and that. You've got to book sites. Yeah, site. You've got, got to book more site. So, and, you know... Mm. That, that, is, that didn't quite suit us, so we decided. <laughs> I mean, it's fine for picks up. You know, it depends what you want to do, you know. Long-term mm. viewers, mm. like you, um, <laughs> might already know that our planning is almost non-existent. So yeah. explain why I chose this one particularly. As an ex-photographer, I realised that you need... A very stable tripod and very stable tripods are very good and it's a good idea to use it because it's amazing how much a little bit of jitter can upset the viewer however <laughs> for example it hasn't got an audio input it has got a socket which I thought it was it was AV socket but it's not for audio so I've had to sort out my own little dead cat I will refrain from using the term little white muff because that would be wrong March in 17 that we that we went abroad first time wasn't it? Mm, yeah, it's not uh, long after. No, yeah, no, no, not March. It's only March. Uh, I can't remember. Go on. Do you know before March we talk anymore? I'm going to get the logbook out. Yeah, <laughs> we need the logbook. Yes. What we'll do yeah. <laughs> in the next episode yeah. of recapping our current four-year full-time living journey mm. is we get the logbook yeah. out. And we get a few facts for you. Yes, that's what, and that's <laughs> what I recommend. It's so easy to forget. I mean, so everybody should log it, record it. I mean, it doesn't have to be a special log. We started but... in sixteen. We yeah. started the job in January seventeen. Yeah. So the first adventure must have been in March eighteen. Yeah. 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 Because that that was when, when yeah, yeah. Because we left. I think we left the job then in uh, towards the end of April sometime in eighteen because we want we got the we got the European bug by then. Well, here we are at the uh, pet reception centre yes. for the uh, border check to get back into the UK yep. with little Pipsqueak. They've got a little dog exercise area here. There's Pippin over there. Got my got my coat on here but it's so hot I thought it was going to rain so but anyway so we're down here having a little walk along the old railway nature reserve just just off the town centre in Lewis just a few steps away um, I've not been here before um, but it says it's a place to think and it's designed by um, from groups of people with learning difficulties they've all designed various things around the garden so it's looking nice a place to think so 
it'd be nice to sit here with that tink, tinkling, tinkling, that's the word, tinkling away. <laughs> And up, then up those steps there, that's where all the barbecues are. So I guess people come here as families in the summer. They have a nice, um, they bring their own chairs, sit out there, and we'll show you um, where the barbecues are. There's, uh... Oh, and there's some ovens at the bottom there too. Pizza ovens, I guess they are. Gosh. So this is where we're parked, and you'll see it's a lovely sort of sunny spot. The sun comes across that way. Um, and there's a spaces for about 12. It's quite tight uh, to get in. In fact, you have to reverse in from that end, and then just to park in. But there's a big turning space at the end if we're, we're going to walk down that way as we go out so this is uh, a view of the air you can see there's a row of vans there if you, there's a row behind this row and you can fit another row in front and then of all this space here you could fit more and there's another space just like this over there plus there's a whole load of space over here as well So you can see it's it's um it's pretty big. It's supposed to fit a hundred vans. I think it probably would. So if it's if it's high season and you're a bit late, come here because you probably get a parking space. Because you can even mm. park round the edge where those cars are as well if you want. So yeah. it's good, 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 good. So there you are. Yeah, yeah. That's um <laughs> <laughs> That's her, uh, her cow, Avera. Avera, oh, yes. Her yeah. cow, Avera. That's in Almeria. It. Yeah. Almeria. Am Almeria. Almeria. That's it. Yep. Right. We're, we're getting get, it. We're getting it about right. <laughs> yeah. But you've seen you've seen where it is on the map. You'll know yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. For twenty-five motorhomes here, um, it's set in some lovely surroundings, right next to the orange grove here and in view of the mountains on one side and of course if you turn back around the other way you get to see all of the um, monastery uh, that's being renovated and we had a look around that yesterday so if you We've come out today on a quite a, quite a big cycle ride for us. We're uh, at the well, that's the Hotel Encarnacion, which is a, a, a an hist historic place. Wendy's not on the video today because she would be. Um, I mean, look at the it's so lovely, um, but. Um, 
just just back that way a bit there's a bit of roadworks and uh, Wendy had a bit of trouble negotiating those roadworks and fell off her bike well we're getting back on the bikes and uh, we're off to a uh, 10 mile jaunt uh, well about 15 kilometers they say uh, jaunt back to the campsite hopefully Wendy's leg will stand up to the uh, to the journey it's pretty flat and there's loads of power in the bike so we can push the power up a bit and uh, make it easy anyway that's it from us today gonna see you again soon thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon so you get a reminder look at this lovely sky beautiful isn't it bye bye for now